Fitz on Flix. I am Fitz, this is my friend Murph. Goes. Right. And uh, hey, this week we saw a movie called Australia. That's right. Give me my gold back, you lucky charm guy. Hey, Murph. What else? We, uh, we saw Australia starring Nicole Kidman and Hugh Jackman. Um, what did you think of this movie? What's the movie about? All right. This movie is about a woman, uh, Lord Ashbury, right. his wife. Uh, Nicole Kidman, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. she thinks her husband's having a scoozy with another guy, right. so <laughs> so she goes to uh, Australia where he runs a cattle ranch to catch him in the act to only find out that he's dead. So she wants to sell the ranch, but then she maybe uh, they shouldn't sell the ranch, so she meets the Drova, mm -hmm. who's played by Hugh Jackman, and mm -hmm. he can take the cattle from here to there, and they can make money, and then there's this little aborigine boy that's half white, half black, and they don't like them back then, so... The white people want to take him away, and she wants to adopt him, and then the Japanese come and bomb the place, and I don't even know what happened. That it sounds was like crazy. A, that sounds like an epic. It really was not. It was not at all. It was supposed to be an epic, but it was terrible. This movie was stupid with a capital S and a capital <sighs> stupid. Um, Murph, I mean, really, what... What did you not like about this movie? Right. What did you like? What did you not like? First of all, it's a beautiful movie. It started off really nice. It's, uh, it's visually captivating. I was drawn in right away. But then once the characters started talking, I thought I was watching, you know, freaking Gone with the Wind. How they talk all old and stuff. They did talk really old and stuff. It was all like, uh, how, how art thou? Bleh. Hey, hey, want some Ooh. silverware? Put the fork on the left. Oh, it was stupid ass. so corny. Dumb, really stupid. Um, and not, not only that, I mean, the movie, it didn't know what it wanted to be. Because the movie no. starts out, starts out like a zany comedy. Not a good zany comedy, no, no. but a zany comedy. And, you know, like, oh, look at that nice kangaroo. And then they shoot it, and mm -hmm. ha, ha, ha. And then you're like, well, this movie's going to be stupid, because it's long. I knew going in, it's long. It's like two hours and 45 mm -hmm. minutes. Then, all of a sudden, it becomes like this sweeping romance, like, you know... Notebook, but not as romantic. No. And it was like, oh, they're now we're romance. Oh, it's not comedy. It's a romance. And all of a sudden, the Japanese are there. Now it's a it's a war movie, and it's a movie. And they tried to be too many things at once, and uh, it didn't get any of them right. Uh, all of them were ridiculous. I mean, this is probably the worst movie about Australia I've probably ever seen. It's probably mm -hmm. the worst Nicole Kidman movie I've ever seen. It just might be the worst Hugh Jackman movie I've ever seen. Uh, certainly the worst Brian. Brown movie I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. He was in Cocktail. He was in FX too. And FX. It was weird. It was. It was. I like the story. I you know I like the whole idea of what was going on in. But I couldn't get past the script. The dialogue was so corny. Oh. It was really written for old people it, or like kids. I'm not either of those. Right. I wouldn't even say it was written. I mean, yeah, I guess it could be written for kids. There's a lot of aw shucks and hey, how do you do the what you doing kind of things. That's kind of a kid thing, and it's also an old people thing. Um, it, I mean, I agree with you. It, the movie, you know, people from a much older generation, not even like kind of an older generation, mm -hmm. like a much older generation could watch this and probably really dig it. Um, but nowadays, I mean, it just didn't, it didn't flip my boat. It didn't rock my socks. I didn't dig it. It wasn't fun for me. Um, I mean, going into this, I, I said for the longest time, my favorite Australian movie is without a doubt BMX mm -hmm. Bandits, coincidentally mm -hmm. starring Nicole Kidman. Yeah. Wonderful in that movie, you have action, you have adventure, you have Papa Wheelies. There are no Papa Wheelies in this movie. No. Um, and still, to this day, BMX Bandits, even after Australia, seeing this, uh, is still my favorite movie. Baz L Lerman? How do you well, say that? Baz Lerman. I mean, this is his fourth movie. This guy gave us Moulin Rouge, and he gave us Romeo and Juliet. Seven years since he gave us his last movie. I don't know what he's been doing in seven years, but he wasn't honestly... He wasn't taking film classes. He wasn't taking, hey, how do I make people smile when I watch work I do classes? Because <laughs> I didn't smile when I watched the work he did. Stupid. <laughs> Um, really? What do you think I mean? I, what? No, seriously. The guy needs to figure out... You know, you don't write your own films when you can't write. I mean, that's how I have always operated. We I never direct a film that I don't not write. We don't write films. No. We don't... And if we did, we'd write them good. That's right. Obviously. Or we wouldn't make them. If we wrote films, we'd win Oscars and we'd be accoladed. You <laughs> fucking... Bob, sorry. Bob, hey, Boz... Stupid. Boss, you are just... So, with, nah. Right. Go ahead. What I'm saying is, Australia is not one to see. Don't go see it. Don't go see it, no matter what. Don't take the money out of your wallet or your purse or whatever you're going to... Oops, sorry, I'm leaning that way. Don't take your money in your wallet and give you your money. And don't go see Australia. It's stupid dumbness at the highest level of stupidity dumb. 
Um, anything else? I agree. If you want to see Australia, go to Australia and see Australia. Right, go see it for Not the yourself. movie, the real place. It's probably way cooler and way better. And there's probably no Japanese bombing it. Take a walkabout. That's what they take do in Australia. About. They take a walkabout. Um, and speaking of walkabouts, we're going to walk about it out of here. Um, Murph, it's been wonderful seeing you. I'll Good see you next you. episode. Thanks always. for coming. Oh, no worries, man. I'll come anytime. Um, so I'm saying, check us out, and <laughs> we will talk to you soon. Bye. Fits on flicks. Bye-bye.